Welcome to our Secure Site and Facility Design Proper Facility Construction Module. You should design your facility based upon your business needs and the level of protection you need for your particular organization. If you are going to be building a data center, you should hire a data center architect to properly plan it. Data center architects are more expensive than traditional architects, but they are very skilled in designing data centers and it will be worth the extra expense. It is important to make sure that you use quality construction material to protect your facility and your staff members. You should not cut corners and you should know what you're doing before you start building and have proper plans in place. You want to make sure that your facility is protected against fire, natural disasters, and vandalism, and incorporate CPTED or crime prevention through environmental design. The physical characteristics of your building will control how easy or how hard it is for you to conduct your electronic surveillance on all of your most critical areas. You want to make sure that your facility meets any regulations or code in your area. You would not want to design the entire facility and build it only to find out that you violated some building code and have to redo the entire facility. You want to make sure that you're familiar with the usage of the facility because it will have to be designed much differently if there are people working inside the facility rather than just using it as a storage area for equipment or paper. You should know what the proper building and fire codes are in your area and design the building with those in mind. You should make sure that your interior walls have an appropriate fire rating and also consider how combustible the material that you're using is, whether you're using wood or steel or concrete. You should make sure that any secure areas in your facility, such as your data center, have reinforced walls that will make it harder for an attacker to gain access. You should also consider the fire rating and the combustibility of the material for your ceilings. You should check load and weight bearing ratings to make sure that they will support the amount of equipment and personnel that will be in your building. And anytime you have a secured area, you should avoid drop ceiling because it makes it easier for an attacker to enter that room. In order to increase security, you should avoid using windows whenever possible. Plate glass windows will produce jagged edges when shattered which could potentially injure your staff. If you have to use windows, you should consider more expensive tempered or laminated glass instead of plate glass. This will be safer for your employees. In order to reduce your vulnerabilities, you should not have any windows on the first floor because this makes it very easy for an intruder to access the building. This concludes our Secure Site and Facility Design module. Thank you for watching.